Hello everyone and welcome back to the beginning. Today we have a very special back to the beginning episode because I feel like this is a crucial point of the main story. We are rescuing Justin today. Last week we helped the Soul Riders steal this barge and now they're behind us waiting for us to travel to Dark War to go save Justin so let's just get into it. Howdy Lisa. There you are. Linda and Alex have arrived at the barge to pick us up. Is that your arctic orb? Yes it is! We are on our starter horse because apparently it was a life or death situation from last week. Linda had a dream and basically if we did not have our starter horse we would die. Which was a little bit dramatic. Okay, that's a lovely horse. There's something special about it. Okay Cassandra, are you an arctic orb ready? Me, Linda and Alex are ready. Once we go to the terrible Dark Hall headquarters, there's no turning back. But once there, at least we'll have each other. Okay, let's go. For Justin, may the light of Aideen brighten our pass path. Okay. Oh, I didn't turn my music on, you guys. Oh, no. All right, we've got the Dark Hall music going. We're on our barge at Dark Hall. There we are. That went well. The weather was not that bad. These barges are very stable in rough seas. We got a bit seasick, but nothing we couldn't handle. One of us has to guard this barge. We can't just leave the barge unattended. The barge is our only means of escape. It must be kept secure. Who would watch it then? Who should chop- I can't speak, I'm sorry. I'll do it. I'll watch it. Are you sure? Don't worry about me. You, Cassandra. No, the- We're placed pretty well by now and have to be there. And Lisa, you have mastered the healing power of the star. While Alex is a true warrior, you are all important and make up a good rescue team. I'll make sure the boat is okay and ready to go when you get back. Alex, Cassandra, Linda is right. Okay, Linda, be careful and see you soon. With Justin, whether he agrees or not. So we might be kidnapping Justin today. <laughs> not saving him, kidnapping him, my bad. <laughs> Good, that's decided then. Let's get started. Let's move on, quietly. Make sure you're not heard or seen. We have to start by finding Justin. I'm guessing I should dismount, but they're not dismounting, so I guess we're team out. This is pretty cool. I haven't done this with the new Star Riders. Obviously on my main account when I did this many years ago, it was with the old Star Riders. Let's go save that oaf. What's an oaf? OAF. I don't know what that is. Ooh, there's no one here this time. Surveying the area. Cassandra, can you see any guards here? This is weird. That is weird. Not lucky. Hmm, we should keep moving forward. Remember to be careful. Even if we can't see any guards, it doesn't mean that they aren't there. You know, Dark Hall really needs to invest in some, like, security cameras or something. Instead of just guards that can't see anything. Starshine is so much bigger than I always thought he was. Like, I don't know, he's kind of drafty. Where in the world have all the guards gone? Maybe they took lunch? What is holding this bridge up? There's nothing holding these bridges up. I've really just realized that. I mean, like, there is, but, like, that part there is not being held up. Oh, they're getting away from me. There is still no one along here. I have a feeling that means something big is going down, and they don't care. Maybe they're ready to do the dark ceremony. Okay, there's some guards over there, and they still have the portal thing turned on. Where has everyone gone? Something must be going on elsewhere. Are there any guards or anyone up there on the platform? Sorry, Linda, I'm like inside of you. <laughs> Look how small Tin Can is. Actually, oh no, they're kind of, I was like, why is Starshine so short now? It's because he's like going through the floor. You think you saw someone over there, Cassandra? I have a bad feeling about this. Something is wrong, really wrong. Keep your eyes open, come on. We'll carry on a bit further. Make sure that you creep forward carefully. Shh, we mustn't be discovered. Y'all coming? Alex? Oh, I'm stuck on a corner. I see a colourful looking guard down there. Why are they walking the plank? What is- what's Darko holding? Is that like a radio? Or is it just a side bag? Did you see all those goons crowding that plank? I bet they're planning to feed Justin to the sharks, like some oil rig pirates. I don't see any Dark Horse riders or Justin around, just that rooster head Dark Horse. What now? I don't know what now. Oh, they're coming from behind us. The sounds, the music. The door opens. I check out what is going on behind the door. Why am I going in there? What the heck? Okay. It's a trap. It's for sure a trap. <gasps> Mr. Sands? Why are you floating? Oh no, you're not. It's okay. 
Mr. Sands? Cassandra and Arctic Orb. I had a feeling you were coming. I have shivers. I assume that we don't need an introduction. Well then, I know why you were here. You were thinking about rescuing Justin, aren't you? I have a feeling he's gonna be like, good. Yeah, he is. Good. He did prove to be quite useless. Darko was right about that, but I don't want him to die. All of my offspring seems to lack the right stuff. He's still my flesh and blood. Today will not be the day he meets his maker. Not today. Nor will it be the big day for you or me. Yet. Even if you and I are sworn enemies, Cassandra, we have the same goal today. But only this time. Only today. We both want to help Justin. The guards have just taken him from his cell to throw him into the sea on Darko's orders. Fortunately for you, my generals are elsewhere. I'm just about to set off the alarm, which is guaranteed to attract most of the guards back here. Maybe you, you and your silly friends can take the opportunity to rescue Justin then. Do you think you can handle that? Are you in, Cassandra? But after this, everything will return to normal again. Remember that. Then we agree. We have a plan. A temporary agreement between us. It is only a short-lived alliance just for now. Our fight will continue. I will crush you. Soon. Soon, 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 soon it will be time for you to meet your final destiny. A very dark destiny. Ah. The time for us to settle our differences has come, but it's not here and not now. This is Justin's day. Go to your friends. I'll set off the alarm. You don't want to be here when I do. It's raining inside. What the heck? What alarm is he? Like a fire alarm or like what? Cassandra, look. They forced Justin out on the plank. We've got to act now. <gasps> Justin! I can't believe Justin hasn't had an update yet. I can't believe, like, Miss Holdsworth got an update before Justin. Like, no no offense to Miss Holdsworth. I guess she was included in those main story quests at the time. What? You just spoke to who? Mr. Sands is gonna help us? I wouldn't be so sure. You say he's going to distract them by sending off the alarm? I think we're probably quite safe here if the alarm goes off now. But I don't believe this. Alex, Cassandra, this has to be a trap. We have to. A loud alarm goes off inside the headquarters. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <sighs> they just keep going. <laughs> huh? Uh, perhaps Mr. Sands wants to save his grandson's skin after all. This will probably be our only chance, so we have to take it. We have to follow Mr. Sands' instructions, whether we like it or not. Ready? Go! Come on. There are still a few guards down there. Be careful. Okay, I guess we're going down. Should I gallop? What are the others doing? They're just walking. I don't want to be the first one to go. Alex, you go first. <laughs> I can see guards. Oh, There's still a lot of guards here. Do you see the guards up front? This is as close as we can get without revealing ourselves. The portal is just ahead. That's where they're holding Justin. Before we go any further, we should agree on a plan. I've got this. I ride in first, zap some goons, and Cassandra grabs Justin. What do I do? Be ready with that star circle first aid if things go- If things go, things go sideways. <laughs> sideways? That doesn't sound like much of a plan. What if we can't hear you and act in plan? Did y'all just see that? <laughs> oh my star, she just ran in. No turning back now, Cassandra. Go save Justin. Ooh, quite a sweet bit of horse XP coming for me. <gasps> yes, Alex. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. What happened to Darko? Where'd Darko go? Don't let them get to the ski on. It looks like Justin might actually... Well, obviously, he's being threatened with his life right now. Justin! No! Cassandra. My horse is speaking to me. Octagon? <laughs> Our bond is strong. Open yourself to Aideen's light. Through our bond, Aideen lives together. My horse is floating. We just jumped off. We can soar. It's broken. There's no way it's broken right now. Star Staple, you ruined my life. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was so excited for this quest just to have a floating horse with no wings. I swear they had wings before. Justin, my blood. I'm so sorry, grandson. Aideen's light saved you from the darkness today. 
For now that he has seen you, you will never be safe on Jorvik. Question! Why did Mr. S like, does Mr. Sands not think that Dark Aura is the darkness only, only Dark Aura? Like, I'm so confused. And is he Dark Aura or Garnet? We're just, look at! What, what is this? Oh, I was so excited. <sighs> wow, powerful. Oh, I feel so bad. If people had to experience that for the first time and they don't truly really know what it looked like, it, that was so sad. Oh no, people are running. We should probably leave, you guys. Oh, we are leaving. My guy is just standing over there. I, I can't believe my eyes. You and Arcticle were actually flying. Fripp said that a rider would come who could manifest the power of the goddess. But even after everything we've seen, I never would have imagined this. You have to tell me everything about your experience so I can document it. What did it feel like to have the goddess flow through you? Sorry. Breathe, Linda. Posterity can wait. Justin is safe and right now we have a boat to catch. Is everyone ready? We need to leave as fast as your vegan wild horse before the Dark Riders and all the guards board the barge. Bye, Dark Horse. I think this is the last time that we're going to see you guys in a while. Is that the end of the story, Chris? Because I've only been filming for 16 minutes. Did we crash? What is that? Justin, we did it. Phew, what an adventure. That was crazy. Thanks for your help, Cassandra. Thank you all. Thanks for rescuing me after everything that has happened. How do I feel? How do I feel? Mm, I feel great. I knew all along that you'd come for me. I was never really scared. Not at all. I'll probably start heading home. <laughs> this was nothing. And you know what? It was pretty cool too, right? We flew. Awesome. Justin, are you okay? Totally awesome. Have I learned anything? The others didn't say much to me. They just tried to get me to do magic tricks. But I couldn't, of course. Please come to Moorland another day. I might have remembered something important by then. Right now, I need a little rest and to sort out my thoughts. Like I said, this was quite an adventure. Epic music! <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, Star Super released a main story quest that was that short? Justin is probably right. We'll question him another day. Hey, Cassandra, I actually saw a lot of what happened on the rig in my visions. This was something extra special. I've never seen anything like it before. Has your Arctic Orb ever flown before? Yes. Probably. If I if I took to the Cloud Kingdom, it seems like you can get him to fly under special circumstances. That's very interesting. I'm afraid that we're still only at the start of something much bigger than we can imagine. I think that Fripp's anxiety and strange behavior was the result of something that we are a central part of. Whatever happens, our next step is to rescue Anne from Pandoria, if she's actually there. But first, we must get Justin home. Cassandra, can you take him to his father, Thomas, in Moorland? You deserve all the credit for this rescue mission. Mission. So you should take him home to his father. Home? Yes, home. Sounds like a good idea. I haven't forgotten who I am, just so you know. This was just... just too hard. I... should I get her here on the back? Ooh, saddle blanket, yay. Alright, so we're taking Justin back to Moorland. Good thing I can just call for pickup. And miraculously, it's daytime. I was like, what is that music? I think it might be Halloween music, I'm not sure. Justin, my darling son, I'm so overwhelmed with joy to see you again. I've been so sad, so worried. I love you. Your hair, you look so, so dark. In your soul, what happened? What has that bad man done to you, my son? How are you feeling, Thomas? Just let him get a word in. Thank you, Cassandra. You are a true hero, you and your friends. I have no words. I'm eternally grateful to you for bringing my son home. I really thought I would never see him again. How can I ever repay you? It's me who should be thankful. Hopefully, Justin will become himself again after some time, but... If his dark thoughts persist, I'll have to ask for help again. I don't know who else to turn to. Once again, thank you, and good luck with everything that you, all of you, will undertake in the future. If you ever need help from myself or Moorland Stables, you know where to find us. Get some rest now, and good luck with whatever lies ahead. And just like that, do we have any other main quests? Yeah, we've got a daily quest with Linda at Silverglade Manor. 
Other than that, that's the that's the main quest for today. Let's see what little quests maybe we have around here. It looks like um Loretta has a quest for us. A new girl at the stables. Hey, did you hear? I'm like dying here. Totes don't understand what someone like her is even doing here. Believe me, she's not a bobcat. Like, she's got no style, and as if that's not enough, she's like totally worse than you when you got here. What a noob. You don't know what I'm talking about? Seriously? You haven't heard? There's this new girl visiting the stable. Thomas Mullet even asked Julie to lend her horse to her. Honestly, she'll never get to ride my horse. She can forget it. But hey, if she's here to stay, I want to know more about her. You need to get the lowdown on her to see if she'll make a good bobcat or not. Why can't I do it? Um, really? You're the funniest. Of course I can't talk to her. I need to make sure she's worth my time first. Listen, just ask the other bobcats and see if they've heard anything, okay? I do not know what this quest is. Who cares who she is? Mm, is that the blonde girl? Mm, is that the blonde girl? Pfft. If one more person says this to me. Is that the blonde girl? I don't know, you guys. I think the girl might be blonde. What? Seriously? They must know more than I do. Wow. Talk about out of touch. Um, what? You think we should say hello to her? I've obviously got more important things to do than taking care of some loser noob. You've got a point, though. Thomas would probably want us to show her around and look after her a bit, which is why it would be perfect if you did it. Thomas said that she can borrow Julie's horse, Firewind, so take her out riding or something. Oh, yeah, Cassandra, you probably don't want to mention any of this to Julie. She's got a lot on her plate right now, and what she doesn't know won't hurt her. If I know her like I do, she won't be too happy about some newbie getting to ride Firewind. Um, hello? What are you waiting for? Go say hello to the loser noob now. Who is the new person? What quest am I even doing? i like scared this is like leading up to a race, but I don't think it is. I think it's genuinely a side quest. Oh, wait, I know you. Mandy. I remember quests with Mandy. I remember when it came out. Ah! We don't even do anything! I'm just standing here! By the way, why should I have anything to be worried about? It's you who's doing all the sneaking around. Have you got nothing better to do than spy on me? Not that there'd be any reason to spy on me. No reason at all. Oh, now look. Since you scared me so much, I dropped my bag and all the stuff has fallen out. Oh, it's all your fault. <laughs> Maybe you want to try helping the new girl pick up her stuff. I mean, I guess. That's fine. Okay, what have we got? We've got a purse, which is floating. Everything is floating. We've got a phone. We've got a postcard. Thanks. Um, sorry I snapped at you like that. My bad. It's okay. Sorry I got angry like that. I didn't mean to. It's just that you really made me jump. It was mean of me. Sorry again. Want to start over? My name's Mandy. What's yours? Cassandra? Is that even a real name? <laughs> I mean, um, how lovely. Nice to meet you. Have you been here in Moorland long? This is my first time here. We'll see if I visit this place again in the future. You're the girl Mr. Mullen said would show me around? Oh well, that's nice of you, and I'd love to come out with you for a ride. I wasn't able to bring my own horse with me this time, but Mr. Mullen said I could borrow a horse called Firewind. Oh, another thing. I'm afraid I left my saddle and bridle at home. I've got all this awesome gear, like best quality ever, but there was so much older stuff I need to bring with me that I totally forgot about it. Could you help me find some that I could borrow just this one time? I have a feeling that she is trying to impress me. But you don't have to do that, bestie. Why is there a saddle in here? Why is there a saddle on the floor? Julie's spare saddle. Why? Why was there just random stuff? You're sure I can borrow these? Nobody will mind? Thanks. It's really nice of you all to lend me this bridle and saddle. Oh, saddled the horse myself, you say? Um... Yeah, I mean, like, I obviously know how to saddle a horse. It's not that. I've been saddling horses before I learned to walk. But it's just that your saddles here in Jorvik are a bit different to those that I have back at home. What kind of saddles do we have at home? Um, what does that even matter? Don't you believe me or something? They're just different, okay? Which side is up? Which side is down? How should I attach it? Like this? Um, the bridle. That goes on the head, right? Oh, you want to show me how to do it? 
Thanks. You don't need to tell anyone else about this though, right? I don't want anyone thinking I've never seen a horse before. That would be crazy. <laughs> so, show me how to saddle Firewind. Bestie, you don't have to lie to me. Would you lie, 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 lie to me? I've got an entire full stable. Oh gosh. Alright, well, this is the saddle. And you just kind of drag it. And you just kind of drop it. And then you just kind of stick your hands inside of the horse. And then you should be good. Nice, thanks. Thanks for the demonstration. I remember your tips and get it right next time. Um, Cassandra, what's the deal with actually getting up onto Firewind? He's huge. Like, I'll need a ladder or something to get onto his back. How do you get up onto Arctic Orb? <laughs> no, don't be silly. You can't possibly think I've never ridden a horse before. I have my own horse. Like I told you. Yeah, like, my horse is super easy to get onto. He usually just bows down and I just step onto him really easily. It's just like usual. Why are you looking at me like that? It's true, I promise. That's like some sims 4 stuff right there that's how kids get onto horses in the sims 4 help me up onto firewind instead of just standing there please mandy what is going on okay she's on the horse wow that's really high went well at least thanks for the help i could do it myself of course but i just don't feel myself today for some reason um one more thing there must be something up with this saddle it feels like i'm not sitting on it right should it really be like this what what do you mean I've never ridden before? Of course I have! Oh, how nice of you to check and see if it needs adjusting. Thanks. Oh, my, I'm entirely inside the horse. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Just... No, 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 no. Just let me... Ah! Burr! Okay. There we go. I got this. I got this. There we go. We're just adjusting like the girl. Thanks. Now I feel like I'm sitting better. It'd be really fun to see more of Moorland. Thanks for taking me with you on this tour. Hey, you should lead the way, Cassandra. I don't know anything about the area. That's the first thing you've said that makes sense. Come on, I'm ready to ride. Should I get an Arctic Orb first? There we go. She is already trotting and this is her first time in a saddle. That's crazy. It looks like she's leading the way, not me. Oh my gosh, my camera. What is going on with this canter and the saddle? Something that will look right. Mandy was already cantering on her first time on a horse as well. That must be Conrad Marsden. Smithy, right? Yeah. Thanks for showing me around. Is it difficult to become a member of the Bobcats? No. Maybe for you though. Sorry, that was mean. Um, Beatrice, there's a can inside of your trophy. Let me just grab that for you. Where are you going? Oh, why are you counting down, bro? Oh my gosh, calm down. Three. Bro, you're galloping. Where are you going? I can't find this place. I was right next to you. Oh, wow. Just wow. There's nothing back home that's like what you guys have here. It's so lovely here. I'm jealous now. This is way nicer than it is back home. Hey, off topic. How are the bobcats? Do you know them well? You're a bobcat, right? Hey, since I'm going to be moving here, I guess it wouldn't hurt to know when everyone's birthdays are, how old they are, and... How their families look, right? I don't remember Mandy, but I remember Mandy, but I don't remember, like, Mandy, like, her story and everything. Maybe she has ridden. Why does she- why- why does she want someone- is she a spy? That's not weird. I'm just curious. Well, forget what I said. Shall we race back to the stable? Last one has to do the other one. Stable chores for a month. I don't even know where she is. Oh, there she is. She just appeared out of nowhere. Bye, Mandy. You've only just gotten on a horse. What did you- Ah! What did you think was gonna happen if Mandy beats me? You're not beating Arctic Orb, bro. Oh no, she's gonna beat me. Oh no, she's gonna beat me. This is so unfair. I didn't know the way. Okay, we're almost caught up. We're almost caught up. We got this, we got this. Cut the corner, cut the corner. No cheating, no cheating. No cheating here. I don't know what you're talking about. That We're like just in front of her. Okay, we're okay. Where are we going? Why are we going the most roundabout way? Don't you dare make me miss- No! This is one of the worst races I've ever done in Star Stable. <laughs> At least this time, I'm already out ahead of Mandy. Epic. Yay me. Did you see how I rode on Firewind just then? I'm pretty awesome at riding, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, you're also awesome, but you get to ride every single day, so it's not fair to compare us to, is it? No way, is it that late already? Thanks for the tour, but I need to get to Jorvik City. I've got tons to do there. I'll catch up with you later, though. Um... 
Obviously, I know how to do everything with the saddle and bridle, but now I'm really in a hurry, which means I can't take them off right now. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I don't have a clue about how to take them off. No, 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 nope, no, sir. Done it loads of times. Could do it in my sleep. Definitely. <laughs> For real? Nice. That's really kind of you to offer to unsaddle Firewind for me. I'll take him to the stable where you go over and talk to that blonde girl. She seems to want you for something. Loretta's is her name, right? Yeah? See you later. Um, hello! I'm just standing here waiting for a report on this new girl and you're running around the place with her like she's your new BFF? <laughs> Are you jealous, Loretta? Hello? Details? Come on, I want to hear everything. What did she say? Is she a bobcat or not? Did she have a pair of Jollister shoes on? Seriously? You think she'll fit in here? She's got one ugly style of riding, I'll say that. That can be changed though, unlike a bad sense of style. If someone's dressed like a nerd, then there's no saving them. What did you think what did she think of Firewind? Of course she liked him. Have you guys unsaddled him by the way? You going to do it for her? Okay. Well, what are you doing standing here? Go get him unsaddled. <laughs> I am being pushed around by everyone today. <laughs> I have to use a pair of stable gloves. Interesting. Has the saddle always been like this? Like, why do I why do I feel so confused by the saddle right now? And the animation. I don't know. Anyways, maybe it has always been like that. Have you unsaddled Firewind? Great. Julie can take care of the grooming. It's her horse after all. Now you need to tell me everything. Right now. So now I want to hear everything. Tell me, what did you think of that girl? I think she's totally weird. I knew she wasn't a proper rider. You think we should give her a chance anyway? She's a total liar. I can see it a mile off. Her shoes are probably not even real, Jollister. They're probably fake. Okay, okay, just because it's you. I'll talk to the other girls and see whether we should give Where's Waldo, Weirdo, another chance. Now, where's my phone? <sighs> Yo, Cassandra, could you just ride to the stable real quick and grab my green bag for me? Uh, yeah, I know, as if I would have a green bag, but my other one broke and I haven't had time to get a new one. Anyway, you're the cutest if you go get it for me. I'm sure I left it just outside the stable. <gasps> Mandy snooping. Isn't there like a race with Mandy? Who's Mandy? Why can't I remember who Mandy is? She's running away. Hey, come back here. <gasps> she left a note. I can't read it. What is this quest? Where's... What's Mandy doing with Loretta's bag in the first place? What's this? A note? Mandy must have dropped it when she left off. It reads, Loretta, maybe, Tan, wrong birthday, Julie, maybe, Sophie, nope. <laughs> what could that mean? Looks like Mandy dropped more notes as she hurried away. If you follow the trail of papers, maybe it'll lead you to Mandy so you can confront her about this whole thing. This one's floating. Oh, I don't get to read them? Okay. Oh, there's Mandy. Did she throw the bag in the water? Why are you following me? What do you want? It's not what it looks like. You've read my note? Yeah, and? Why do you think there could be something shady about me? Loretta's bag? What do you mean Loretta's bag? That green bag is mine. Your bag is pink. I remember it being pink. You remember that my bag was pink from when I dropped it in the stable? There's also information about the Bobcat girls. I'm not stupid on the girls in the stable. What makes you think that? You've got a note where you've written down some of the girls' names. Okay, okay, you're right. That I've been gathering information about them. But it's not what you think. You also lied about your writing knowledge. What do you mean lying? I'm not lying. You can't saddle a horse. You understood that I was lying? I'm sorry, but you're right. I admit it. You were right about everything. And I've probably been behaving suspiciously. Okay, okay, I'll tell you everything. I don't know if you've got any siblings. I don't have any. When I was little, I hoped that I might get a little brother or sister, but I never got one. Both of my parents are only children as well, which means I never had any cousins either. Imagine how fun the family parties were. It was pretty much just me there. Boring. With all that said, everything changed just a few months ago. I learned that I actually have a half-sister. You've got no idea how happy it made me to find out. My happiness was totally indescribable. Neither of my parents wanted to talk about it, though. So, they were just pretending that nothing happened and thought I should also drop it. But how can I? That's why I decided to find some answers on my own and find my half-sister. The only thing I really got to know was that she rides here at Moorland Stables. Apart from that, I only know when her birthday is, how old she's supposed to be, and a little about her family. More than that, I'm totally in the dark about who she is, what she looks like, or what she's called. This is all why I've been trying to get as much info as I can about the girls here. 
at the stable so I can work out which one of them is my sister. I've already been able to lose a couple of names from my list, but there's a few left that I'm not sure about. Now you know why I've been behaving so strangely. I've only been trying to work out which one of the girls in the stable is my half-sister. You have to promise not to tell anyone. Promise me! I need to work out who it is first so that I can talk to her. I don't want the whole stable finding out about it. Really? You'll help me? Thanks. Hmm. This makes everything a little easier. Since the girls here in the stable know you, they might respond better if it's you asking them questions. With your help, I'll find out who my half-sister is in no time at all. The ones we need more information about are Loretta, Julie, and Stephanie. Great. Take this notepad and jot down their answers when you talk to them. Why do I feel like it's going to be Loretta? Mm, you want to ask me something? What are you waiting for? I haven't got all day. When's your birthday? Not on the date you asked me that my birthday was on anyway. Not on the date you asked me that. Uh, what does your family look like? What have my family got to do with anything? It's just me, mom, and dad. <laughs> Unless you count ten. She's practically my sister. Have you always lived in Moorland? Seriously? You're asking me how long I've been I've been here? I'm practically born and raised in Moorland. Okay, weird questions. We'll have to talk later. I want to hear all about Mandy. Hey, yo! Hey, yo, yo, yo! What do you want to ask me? When's your birthday? When's my birthday? If you're gonna get me a present, then I definitely want a new stereo. Or some really sweet dance music. My family, mum, dad, and unfortunately siblings. I was born here in Jorvik and have uh, and have had my horse here at Moorland Stables for years and years now. Are you gonna sing along? Hey, yo, hey, yo. No. I love Raptor, but no. My birthday's in springtime, best time of year for a birthday. Well, it's me, obviously, then there's my mum and dad. How did you know that my dad isn't my biological father? Have you always lived in Moorland? I've lived on Jorvik since I was two, since mum met dad. Was that it? Yeah. Maybe it's Julie, I don't know. Have you spoken to Loretta, Julie, and Stephanie? Great, did you find out anything? Thanks for helping me with all... Thanks for helping me with all of this, Cassandra. Let's see what we found out. We'll solve this puzzle together. Okay, now you've spoken to Loretta, Julie, and Stephanie. Did any, any of them say their birthday's in springtime? Julie! Julie said she had a spring birthday, huh? Yes. What did you find out about their family? Julie's dad isn't her biological father. Interesting. Who do you think my sister is? I think it's Julie. You're right. I would never have, I would never have guessed it. But Julie? There we have it. You're a genius. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Can the Halloween music please stop? Please? Okay. Or not. Julie. Julie is my half-sister. I just can't believe it. I finally found her. It doesn't feel real. I need to talk to her. I need to tell her. But what on earth am I going to say? What if she doesn't want a half-sister? What am I going to do then? Thanks for offering me to come with me when I talk to Cassandra. But this is something I need to do on my own. Oh, I've never been this nervous. I need to pluck up courage first, but I promise I'll talk to her. It didn't go well at all. I thought she might be happy to find out she had a sister. I haven't slept. I've been crying all night. I was so desperate looking forward to a sister. What happened? Well, she looked completely stiff and told me I was lying. She wasn't happy at all. Oh, poor Mandy. Thanks, Cassandra. I don't know if I could have done any of this if I hadn't got to know you. No way. I can't just stand here crying. I've already decided to go back to your big city and take the first flight out of here that I can get. If Julie doesn't want a sister, then she doesn't need to be forced to have one. I'll just head home and let her pretend I never existed. Cassandra, there's no reason for me to stay around here anymore. The only reason I came here was because I thought I might have a sister. I can't stay here anymore. I can hardly see through my tears. Do you think you could help me pack? Thanks. If you start folding these clothes, I'll pick up the rest of my stuff from my room. Why do you have clothes outside? Why is there just clothes here? Oh, thanks. You folded everything so nicely. I'm still so disappointed. I hope I might start feeling better once I get out of here. I've got a few more things to pick up from my room. Do you think you could start throwing my stuff into the suitcase? I don't remember this quest light at all. This is crazy. There we go. We're putting stuff in the bag. Oh. Thanks, Cassandra. Soon I'll be able to just get out of here. I just feel so empty. I never thought it would turn out like this. Maybe I was too naive. You don't think I'm stupid? Oh, Cassandra, that's nice of you. But hey, what could I expect? That it would be all happily ever after? Obviously, that stuff only happens in the movies. You think Julie might just need some time to process the news? Yeah, I don't know. Look, 
I find this while, this whilst I was getting my stuff together. It's a present I brought with me to give to my sister, but I don't know what to do with it now. You think I should give it to Julie anyway, even though she doesn't want a sister? I don't know, Cassandra. In that case, I think you should give it to her. I just want to be away from here as quickly as possible. If you do want to give it to her, it'd be nice if it was at least nicely wrapped. Here's some paper and ribbon so it can be wrapped up nicely. Look at us wrapping a present. And finally, a little ribbon. Oh my gosh, the Halloween music is driving me up the walls a little bit. Let's see, can I ride away? Please. 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 Please! Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oof. <laughs> wow, you're great at wrapping presents. It looks so lovely. Thanks for everything, Cassandra. I'm gonna get moving towards Fort Pinter now so that I can take the bus to Yorvik City. I guess we won't see each other again, so take care of yourself and look after Arctic Orb. Of course, the present. You're right. I think she might as well get it. If she doesn't want it, it's better that she throws it away than me doing it. If you feel like it, you can give it to Julie for me. Thanks so much and good luck, okay? Okay. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please. Go away. Please. No. 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 No! Take this stupid present, Julia! What? What do you mean, gone away? She's left the stable and wants me to have this before she left. I don't get it. Oh my. Oh, I didn't mean to be so horrible to Mandy when she told me that she... Well, yeah, I guess she's already told you everything. I was just so shocked. I could hardly believe it. It was like some reality TV show or something. Like a really bad reality TV show. As if anybody would be able to come up with that sort of thing, right? Everything Mandy said was true. Hmm, yeah. I've been awake all night thinking about it and figured I should talk to Mandy again today about it. What? She already left? When's she coming back? Never? Really? Oh, man. You have to stop her. If you ride fast enough, you catch her up. You can tell her I'm sorry and say thank you for the gift. Nah, it's best that I don't come with you. It feels so weird. If she accepts my apology, then she can get in touch with me whenever she likes. If not, you can always thank her for the present. What is going on? Okay, let's race. Why is there a random fence in the road? That's so weird. Oh no, there's another car crash. That's crazy. I hope everyone's okay. This quest line has been longer than the main story quest today. <laughs> Mandy! Cassandra, what are you doing here? Julie said all that to you? Wow, you obviously write about how she must have just been in shock. I just jumped to conclusions. But it's totally not strange that she reacted like she did, and I seem to have overreacted in just the same way. Anyways, Cassandra, thanks. If you hadn't come back, me and Julie would probably never have seen each other again. I've already booked my tickets home, so I won't stay now. I promise I'll be back soon, though, and say hi to everyone. Hey, you know what? Take my contact info back to Julie so she can text me or add me on Pinsta Snap? I was there all the time, kind of addicted to my phone. Thanks so much for all your help. Tell Julie from me that we'll see each other soon. Mandy's phone number. Is that Mandy's number? Does that mean you caught up with her? That's a relief. She accepted my apology? Of course she did, duh. It was from me, so of course it was amazing. I suppose I should thank you for your help as well, Cassandra. I guess it's still really weird that I've suddenly got a half-sister. I'm definitely gonna get to know Mandy now that I've got her number and stuff. By the way, promise not to say to anything to anyone about this, but the present I got from her is so last season. <laughs> I thought I was gonna drop dead when I first opened it. Cute that she thought of me, but she totally needs a few fashion lessons. Luckily for her, she's got history's best, most stylish sister. If you want it, you can have this instead of me. I guess you suit that color more than I do. There aren't many colors that bring out the color of my eyes in the right way in the same time as making my hair look amazing. This will suit you better than it suits me. Oh, the pink the shirt. <gasps> I remember doing this when it first came out. Yeah. Nah, you don't need to thank me. I already know I'm so generous. I mean, you've already helped me out with a whole bunch of stable junk, so I guess we're even now. I remember when this came out and I think it was like super similar to like a Christmas shirt or something at the time and people were like so confused. But, oh, I've got like kind of a matching outfit here. Let's go. Heck yeah. New outfit. 
that is the end of this back to the beginning episode i hope you guys did enjoy as always on the screen right now is the entire playlist that you can check out for back to the beginning we will be back next week on a saturday for more main story quests and possibly more depending on how long it takes i love you all so much and i will see you all later bye